Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy. And today I'm gonna show you a quality tutorial. Get me. So basically, tune in. And uh, I was gonna put a disclaimer. If you record 1080p or higher, you get better quality. So there you go. Pro tip. All right. So you made your edit. Now to make a CC and uh, render with quality. You want to do Control A, right click, pre-compose. Make sure it's this option that's checked, and uh, you'll not get this composition with your pre-comp in it. Uh, we're gonna make it 4K. So go over here to Composition, Composition Settings. If it doesn't pop up, like if you do it like this, Composition Settings doesn't pop up. Press this and do Composition Settings. Uh, I'm gonna put it to 4K because I recorded in 2K, but basically you just want to be putting it to either 4K or uh, 2K because that's when YouTube uses its other codec to compress your edit. Now do control alt f when it pops up like this. Do control alt f to size it up. All right, so before we get into making a CC and all that, I just want to get into a little bit of a disclaimer. So I used to have this idea that when I render my edit, it would look way better on YouTube than in the software for some reason. And that is not true. Making your game look good happens in AE and when you're making the game settings, all right? So what you're rendering out is the best you're going to see your edit look like. It's going to look worse on YouTube. So these render settings are only about making that effect less. On top of this, you want to take into consideration that a brighter CC will have a way better quality than a darker one. So making CC, I'm just going to make a basic one and go over one, uh, why I'm doing what I'm doing. So here we have Lumetri Color. Uh, I put the exposure to 0 0.1. Uh, if I put it any higher, you can see on the floor here that it gets very blown out very quick because it's already blown out. So I just put it to that. Contrast, put it to 44. You could probably go higher, but this looks fine. Uh, and that's about it for this. Put the saturation up and put the shadow tint to blue because it looks good. And that's pretty much it for the CC on this one. Um, just make sure it's not too bright or too dark and then you're fine. Also, adding flicker or anything that messes with each and every frame um, after each other. Alright, so I'm a retard and I don't know how to explain shit, but basically flicker makes every frame different, making your compression work harder, making quality less good. Yes. Yeah, I also forgot to go over sharpen, but uh, basically you just want to put it under your CC. And you can use magic sharp, which looks like this. I don't know if the video will see this, but it looks all right. Put some settings on and it looks like this. Or you could use Lumetri Color Sharpen, which I sometimes do, which is pretty good. So when you're doing Sharpen, a big mistake is you full screen it and then you do it. And the issue with this is that when you then view it minimized, it looks fucked. But yeah, just do your Sharpen with this at this size, you know, and then just lower it. Just make sure nothing is too jagged. It's way better if it just looks soft instead of too sharp. Okay, so when you're ready to render, you have two options. You can either use VDub or Media Encoder. You could also use Handbrake, but who the fuck uses Handbrake? So when you're rendering, you, you have two options. You could either send it straight to Media Encoder or render it uncompressed if you want to send it to VDub. So I'll do the VDub way first. Here, press, um, press Export, Add to Render Queue, and then Output Module here. Don't need to resize because it's already 4K. Then make sure it's on AVI. And then on video codec, either choose Lagerth if you don't want it to be so big, or uncompressed if you're trying to get the maximum uh, cheese. And then I'll render this. So I've dragged the file into VDub now. And what we can do now is go to video first. And then go to compression. And in compression, you want to use X264 VFW with these settings. Or xvid and then put this to one and keep everything the same the difference between these two is x264 vfw takes longer and it has a bigger file size but from my experience it's higher quality and uh xvid is then obviously lower and faster and if you want to convert the fps go to video frame rate convert to fps and then do double what you rendered at so uh, that would be 48 for me and to render just press f7 or go to file and then save avi so now i've dragged it to media encoder and i'm gonna press match source high bitrate here you want to put the format to avi and then you want to go to video codec and put it to xvid or x264 vfw um, if you're using x264 VFW, you want to use these settings, and xvid, you want to use these settings. So here on width, you want to put it to the res that you want to render at. 
so for me it would be the same res as I just rendered at. Put the frame rate to 24, put this to progressive, put the aspect ratio to 1 square pixels, render at maximum depth, use maximum render quality, and that's it. Now you just want to press OK and render. Yeah, just cooling with my guns. Yeah, just cooling with my guns.